going on all my YouTube buddies? I'm Jacob with another movie review for you guys. And welcome back to another installment in my Francis Ford Coppola Director's Marathon. And in today's review, I am taking a look at his 1986 romance drama, Peggy Sue Got Married. <laughs> Peggy Sue Got Married was released in 1986, loosely based on a Buddy Holly song. I did not know Buddy Holly wrote a sequel song to his big hit Peggy Sue, and I actually did enjoy the song, and it was interesting seeing a movie centered around that song loosely with a different direction from Francis Ford Coppola, the guy behind The Godfather and Apocalypse Now. Peggy Sue Got Married was actually Francis Ford Coppola's rare successful film after Apocalypse Now. This movie actually was a modest hit and it was critically acclaimed considering some of the previous films post-Apocalypse Now were financial and critical disasters. So what do I think of Peggy Sue Got Married? Let's find out together. So when Peggy Sue Got Married, Peggy Sue faints at a high school reunion. When she wakes up, she finds herself in her own past just before she finished school. And this movie stars Kathleen Turner, Nicolas Cage, Helen Hunt, Katherine Hicks, Joan Allen, Jim Carrey, Barry Miller, and Kevin J. O'Connor. I'm going to say it, Peggy Sue Got Married is actually a great film. And I wasn't expecting much out of this movie. I was hoping to find a great hidden gem in Coppola's filmography, and I guess I found it with Peggy Sue Got Married. I really dug this film. Now, I will say the premise is very bizarre on paper. It's Peggy Sue, played by Kathleen Turner. She has a bit of a midlife crisis. There's things in her life she regrets going into her high school reunion, especially this marriage that she's into that went south, and they're about to go into a divorce. And so she passes out at her high school reunion, wakes up and back in the past to 25 years earlier, from 1985 to 1960, waking up realizing that she might be able to change her own destiny. Hearing that premise, it sounds like he's ripping off Back to the Future, but no, not really. Back to the Future is definitely more blockbustery. It definitely had more of a summer blockbuster feel. It definitely embraced more of its sci-fi elements mixed with a comical edge to it. And while this movie has some funny moments throughout the film that did get a good little chuckle out of me, the heart of Peggy Sue Got Married is more in its character drama, something you would expect Francis Ford Coppola direct after recently watching movies like The Outsiders and Rumblefish naturally conveying the character's emotions in a very artistic manner. And he definitely did that with Peggy Sue Got Married. I really did enjoy the Peggy Sue character. I definitely found her character very relatable. And I definitely enjoyed seeing that character learn things throughout the film. I definitely enjoyed seeing what she wanted to relive, what she wanted to change. And I definitely enjoyed seeing that play out. And Kathleen Turner is fantastic in this film. She was Oscar nominated for this role and this is one of the best roles I've seen her in alongside Romancing a Stone and her voice work as Jessica Rabbit and Who Framed Roger Rabbit. And I did enjoy the cast throughout here as well. Catherine Hicks I've been enjoying uh, seeing her in recently. I uh, like in Child's Play and she was also in Star Trek 4. It's fun seeing a young Jim Carrey in there. Not, never been a huge Jim Carrey fan, but it's fun seeing him in an early role being his goofy self. And yeah, he was pretty entertaining, even though he wasn't in the movie that much. One that's tricky to wrap my mind around is Nicolas Cage. Because in one hand, he is entertaining as ever. And I definitely enjoyed seeing Nicolas Cage let loose and play a very crazy over-the-top character. On the flip side, what the heck was up with his accent? His accent is laughably terrible. I, I don't know if he was trying to go for 
uh, beatnik, or he was trying to sound like Boo Boo Bear from Yogi Bear. <laughs> I don't understand what he was thinking, and I was I was very hit and miss on his performance. I will say the two actors have good chemistry, even though it is well documented that Kathleen Turner hated working with Nicolas Cage because she did not like his goofy accent. And he also had a lot, did some unprofessional behavior as well to get in the character, one of his method acting roles, I guess. Uh, I will say they worked. I did enjoy their chemistry, even though Nicolas Cage is hit and miss in the film, but it actually worked and I was genuinely moved by the very end of the film because I was so invested in the characters. I will say I love the cinematography of this film. It definitely felt like that time capsule. Coppola definitely sucked me in back to the past through its soundtrack and through its time capsule and through the set design, the costume designs, and the soundtrack. It was definitely a great experience to see. And this movie, I, I, I came in thinking it was a rom-com, honestly. I didn't think I'd get into this film. But Peggy Sue Got Married actually surprised me. While this movie is funny and it is very romantic throughout, what made it deliver was the drama. Uh, Peggy Sue her midlife crisis and, and trying to overcome you know, the regrets of the past and trying to move on to a brighter future. I felt like that was a great story and that definitely differentiated itself heavily from Back to the Future because people apparently tend to mock this for being Back to the Future light and I don't actually see that because it's a completely different movie. A mo There's two movies that Peggy Sue Got Married I would actually compare to. One is Groundhog Day, about a man trying to overcome the sins of his past for a better future. And then also, Yesterday I would actually compare this to. It's about as charming as Yesterday, a movie about a struggling person in a different time loop and learning to move on and be a better person as well in the new situation he's in. So that's what Peggy Sue Got Married reminded me more of than Back to the Future. And if you enjoyed those two movies, I think you'll enjoy Peggy Sue Got Married as well. It's definitely a sweet, charming film. I think my big gripes with the film, one, again, I'm very spoiled on Nicolas Cage's performance in general. He's entertaining to watch and he's very cagey and crazy but I did not like his accent. And then two, there's one section that did feel a little off the rails. There's a sequence involving a lodge meeting with her grandparents that almost made me believe it was gonna derail the film because it went bonkers and out of nowhere, but thankfully that was not the direction they went with it. It felt, it was thankfully a subversion of expectations and if they went the route that it was originally set up. I don't think I would have liked the movie as much, but thankfully, thankfully Coppola subverted that sequence, and yeah, the ending is very profound and real and very believable, and I actually really enjoyed the movie past that very bonker sequence that definitely felt like it came from a different movie. But yeah, I definitely did enjoy Peggy Sue Got Married, I think of the movies Coppola has released so far post-Apocalypse Now, this one's easily been my favorite. I think this is easily Coppola's most concise film. It definitely feels more raw and real than some of the other films I've done. It doesn't feel as disjointed, it doesn't feel tonally all over the place, and this one actually feels like a complete film from a great director, and I definitely enjoyed seeing a hidden gem in his filmography, even though this was a success at the time, I think it's more forgotten about now. And I did highly enjoy this film. If you enjoy some of Coppola's other films and want to see one that's a little under the radar, definitely check out Peggy Sue Got Married. I'm going to give the film a four and a half out of five stars. And on the 100 point scale, it's getting an 82 out of 100. So that wraps up my review of Peggy Sue Got Married as part of my Francis Ford Coppola Director's Marathon, where I'm reviewing his complete filmography from his directing debut to his most recent film. 
If you're a hardcore fan of Francis Ford Coppola, I'll leave a link in the description below for my playlist of past reviews in his marathon. At the time of this video, I reviewed movies such as The Godfather and Godfather 2, The Conversation, Apocalypse Now, The Outsiders, or some of his more obscure films such as Rumblefish, The Cotton Club, Dementia 13, Finian's Rainbow, The Rain People, You're a Big Boy Now, One from the Heart, and many, many more. I got more Coppola reviews to come, so if you're a fan of this director and his filmography, check the link in the description below to catch up on my past videos, and don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of future Coppola reviews. Join me next time in the Coppola Director's Marathon where I'll be taking a look at the 1987 drama Gardens of Stone. Definitely look forward to that video coming very, very soon. But if you've seen Peggy Sue Got Married, let me know down in the comments below would you follow the film? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, we'd be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it to be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, besides movie reviews, I also do TV reviews, trailer reactions, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!